Hey lovelies, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lovely Channel. Today I am sharing with you some ways that you can grow your prayer life. These are just really easy, practical, and biblical tips that you can implement whether you're a new believer or if you've been a believer for years but you've always struggled with prayer or just knowing how to really communicate with God on a consistent basis, I really believe that these tips will help. But first, if you could please hit the like button and the subscribe button below, that just lets me know that you wanna see more videos like this, and it also helps other people to be able to see these videos too. So my first tip in growing your prayer life is to go through and read Psalms. Uh, really any of the Psalms are all just honest prayers and praises to God. And then I know for me, I've been reading Psalms lately and I feel like I have learned so much about what prayer looks like and what prayer can be. Um, so that is a great place to start. And then also reading the Lord's Prayer um, which is found in Matthew and in Luke, I believe. I'll have the references below so you can look it up. Um, but that is Jesus's prayer format for us. He literally teaches us how to pray and, and what should be included in a prayer. Um, so you can really learn a lot about prayer by reading scripture, specifically those two areas. When we actually know what the Bible and scripture say about prayer, we can know better how to pray and how to implement it into our life. Number two is maybe you're just having trouble focusing on praying when you're trying to pray, focusing on actually talking to God. And I actually shared this in my quiet time routine, but two things you can do is one, praying out loud, actually saying your prayers. You can be in your house cleaning, uh, doing different tasks and stuff, and you can be praying out loud. You can be in your car driving to work and you can pray out loud to God. Sometimes actually speaking out loud really helps you to focus on who you're talking to. And also starting a prayer journal can be a really good thing. Sometimes writing down your prayers can be helpful, but prayer journaling could be a really good option for you because you're writing down your prayers. You also can like document different things that you've been praying about and that have been going on and see how God answers them. So um, this is a prayer journal I've had for a long time. It's actually from the Daily Grace Company. They have a lot of really cute prayer journals on there. And then also a while back, I did a DIY prayer journal. I just took a notebook I had and kind of created my own prayer journal. So if you want to see what I included in there and how I did that, I will have that video linked below and you can check that out. Number three, and I feel like this is one of the biggest things we can all do is just to make prayer a habit in our lives. In 1 Thessalonians, it tells us to pray without ceasing. So. There are a couple things that we can do to try to start to create those habits in our lives. Um, and I know sometimes when you first start praying, it's not always as simple as always thinking just to go to God and pray about everything, even though scripture tells us to. So um, a couple things that you can use to implement this is one, sticky notes. Um, just get a pad of sticky notes. These cute ones are from Daily Grace Company, but you can use any regular old sticky notes from Walmart or Dollar Tree or whatever. Um, but you can put little prayer prompts, things you're specifically wanting to pray about or pray for, or maybe it's like just like a topic, like you wanna focus on praising God or Thanksgiving or confession, stuff like that. Um, put these all over your house, put them in your car, put them in your purse, your planner, wherever, and you can have these little sticky notes and you have all these reminders to pray. And so whenever you pass one or see one, you can remember to pray right then. And you don't have to stop what you're doing or go out of your way. It's just part of prayer. It's we're walking and talking with God throughout our day. And then another thing you can do is actually to set an alarm on your phone to maybe go off at certain times during the day and then those are little reminders to pray throughout the day. My next tip would be to either join a prayer team which you could do this at your local church. Um, a lot of churches have prayer teams or prayer meetings certain times where they pray so you can you know go on your church's website and see when that happens and join that. Um, You'll get to be a part of a team that prays. You'll get to hear other people praying. You'll get to participate. And I think when we pray with other believers, um, it can really grow our own prayer life and our own walk with God. And then you're also just lifting up the needs of others in your church or your community. 
um, which we are called in scripture to do. We're also called in scripture to pray for other believers. And we're also called to pray for uh, leaders, kings, authorities of wherever we live. And so um, another thing you can do is there's a lot of online prayer groups that you can join. Um, two that I, I, that I really recommend and enjoy um, is Intercessors for America, and that's praying for what's going on in our country and praying for our leaders in our country. They have some great resources on there, so I'll have their website linked below. And then another one is um, Through the Bible, uh, which is like a Bible podcast teaching. Um, they also have their world prayer team, and you can join that and get little prayer prompts. They'll send you reminders on there, or you can just go on their website or through their app and see what the current prayer topic is. And it's usually having to deal with um, different believers all over the world, and you're praying for different areas all over the world or just different things going on. So um, those are a couple that you can check out that I'll have linked below. And my very last tip for this video, which goes along with the one I just mentioned, but it's to offer to pray for other people, um, whether that's a fellow believer or somebody that's an unbeliever. Um, you could just be out and about and it could be a random stranger. Maybe you guys somehow say something to each other and you find out that person's having a bad day or something happened. Um, offer to pray for them. You might get some people that are like, oh, no, thank you. But a lot of people will want prayer and they'll be kind of like taken aback that you offered to pray for them. But it's just a great way, one, to share Jesus with somebody if they're not already a believer. Um, but to practice praying for other people. And I know this can be nerve wracking at first, but even scripture tells us in Romans 8 that the spirit intercedes on our behalf when we're praying. Um, so even if you feel awkward when you're praying, you're just talking to God. Just remember when you're praying, you're just talking to God. So you're not trying to impress anyone, use any lofty words or anything but you're really lifting up the needs of someone else again. You're ministering to somebody and you're just giving it to God. And in that too, you are growing your prayer life and your walk with God and just how you communicate with Jesus. So I hope all these tips on how you can grow your prayer life help you. Um, and let me know if you have any other tips on how to grow your prayer life in the comments below. I would love to hear all of your ideas. And again, like this video if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already and you wanna see more videos like this. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.